The obstacle course will teach you how to move through the world. Use the basic movement keys to move forward and back and side to side. Use the mouse to turn. The obstacle course will teach you how to move through the world. Use the basic movement keys to move forward and back and side to side. Use the mouse to turn and look up and down. Hold down the run key to run. Press escape at any time to exit training. In addition to standing upright, you can crouch and go prone. When you're on the battlefield, keeping your head down is a good way to avoid getting shot, and your own shots will be more accurate if you're lying down. Practice changing your stance using the stance up and stance down keys. Go prone and crawl under the barbed wire. When you're standing still, you can peek around obstacles. Press the left and right peek keys and practice using the barrier. Remember, the smaller the target you present to the enemy, the harder you are to hit. Open doors using the action key. Try to avoid standing directly in front of a door when you open it. It makes you a prime target for whoever's on the other side. This is the small arms range. Here you'll learn how to fire a rifle and a pistol, how to switch weapons, reload and use a scope. Press the assault rifle is your primary infantry weapon. Aim at a target and press the fire key to shoot. Notice how the reticule changes size as you move and fire. The smaller the reticule, the more accurate your shot will be. Practice hitting the targets down range. If you run out of bullets, change magazines with the reload key. Use the weapon mode key to switch between single shot and burst mode. The sniper rifle is equipped with a scope for long range shots. Press the zoom key to cycle through the scope's zoom levels or use the mouse wheel for continuous zoom control. Practice hitting the long range targets. In addition to his primary weapon, every soldier can carry one secondary. You can switch between the primary and secondary by pressing the switch weapons key. Switch to the pistol and practice hitting the short range targets. This is the grenade range. Here you'll learn how to throw hand grenades and fire a grenade. Tap the fire key to toss the grenade a short distance or hold and release the key for a long throw. Notice that the reticule doesn't change size. Grenades will go exactly where you throw them, but you'll need to learn to take the arc of your throw into account. Practice lobbing grenades over the low wall in front of you, or hitting the targets in the far building. Press the fire key to launch a grenade. The standard grenade launcher needs to be reloaded after every shot. Grenades fired from grenade launchers explode on impact, so don't try to bounce them around corners. This is the rocket range. Here you'll learn how to fire anti-tank rockets. Notice how the rocket reticule differs from the rifle and grenade reticules. With rockets, you can't fire the weapon until the reticule reaches its minimum size. Wait for the reticule to converge, then press the fire key. The standard rocket launcher needs to be reloaded after every shot. The only way to destroy a tank or other armoured vehicle is with an anti-tank rocket, so be sure to equip your team with them if the mission briefing indicates you're going up against armour. And remember that rockets have a backblast. If you fire a rocket when there are friendly standing behind you, you'll take them out as well. This is the machine gun range. Here you'll learn how to fire a fixed machine gun. To use a fixed machine gun, stand in front of it and press the action key. Press the fire key to fire the machine gun. Notice that you don't have a targeting reticule. Use the traces to walk your shots onto the target. Practice shooting at the target's down range.
This is the demolitions range. Here you'll learn how to place a Claymore anti-personnel mine and detonate it. This same technique is used for placing demolitions charges and battlefield sensors. Press escape at any... Use the fire key to place the Claymore in the center of the blast pit. Aim it toward the target dummies. It will face in the same direction you're facing when you place it. When the Claymore is ready, move to the safety of the blast bunker for detonation. Press the fire key again to detonate the Claymore. The trigger works at any range. Demolitions charges don't have triggers. They're set to go off on timers well after you're clear of the mission area. If a mission requires a demolitions charge to complete an objective, you'll be told about it in the briefing. The route to the next training range is through this darkened hallway. Switch on your night vision goggles with the night vision key. Night vision is essential in low light situations, but you'll see better in full illumination with it switched off. When you leave the darkened area, press the night vision key again to switch it off. This is the command range. Here you will learn how to use the command interface to issue orders to the other soldiers of your platoon. Press escape. The other soldiers in your platoon are in the courtyard below. Press the command key to call up the command interface. The interface will only stay up as long as you hold down the key. Your platoon is organized into three fire teams. You're in fire team alpha. You can tell a fire team where to If you hold the mouse button down while adding a waypoint, you'll see a firing arc. Moving the mouse changes the direction of the firing arc. You can use this to tell a fire team to direct their shots in a particular direction. It's good for snipers or for laying down cover fire. This is the command range. Here you will learn how to use the command interface to issue orders to the other soldiers of your platoon. Press escape at any time to exit training. In position. This concludes your Ghost Recon basic training. Press escape at any time to exit training. <laughs>